I'm Brett Michael Phillips, and welcome back for video two of our seven video series on the anti-secret, why the law of attraction does not work. Over the course of this series, I'm going to highlight for you seven of the biggest obstacles, seven of the biggest problems that can wipe out your law of attraction, mind power, energy healing, manifesting processes. The trouble is not everything you learn in the secret or your typical law of attraction program is wrong, but it's almost entirely incomplete. And I want to give you the missing pieces. In the first video, we talked about the subconscious and how blocks in the subconscious mind can hold you back. They can keep you stuck and struggling for years or decades, maybe your whole life. So please, if you haven't done so yet, make sure to check it out. Really valuable stuff. Once you've started working with the subconscious, then we're ready to move on to the next piece. And it's attachment. Attachment to result will stop you dead and wipe out your results, keep you stuck and struggling for years or decades, just like subconscious blocks will. And it's really kind of unfortunate that the secret and typical law of attraction teachings totally ignore this piece. It's kind of like you built a car and there's an engine and a transmission, but you forgot to put tires on it, right? I don't care how great the rest of your car is. If it doesn't have tires, it ain't going anywhere, is it? Right. You can sit in it, maybe listen to music. It's a giant paperweight. So I want to help you put tires on your car. I want you to learn how to find out if this is your block. Is this your missing piece? and then give you some solutions. So what is attachment or more specifically attachment to result? I'm sure if you've been around the new thought, a new age, religion, philosophical, spiritual world for a while, you've heard a million times in different ways. Oh, don't be so attached. Oh, let it go. Right. Don't be so attached to a result, trust, surrender, etc. Right. I've heard that a million times too. Unfortunately, that's not very useful just yelling at someone and saying, don't be so attached accomplishes nothing, right? It's like yelling at a person who is four feet tall, could just jump really high and dunk the basketball, right? It's not that simple. If you're four feet tall, you got to jump six feet in the air to dunk that basketball, right? Yelling at someone and telling them over and over, nagging them, jump higher, jump higher, isn't going to do the trick. I want to show you what does. So let me give you some real life examples of how significant attachment is and how it decreases our performance and keeps us stuck and struggling in our lives, sometimes for years or decades. As one example, I've had a lot of my clients who are stock market traders, a lot of day traders. They go into the market and they have various systems and software that tells them when to buy something and then when to sell it with the goal being that you'll make money, right? Here's what happens. Every single client I've had who is a stock market day trader, their story is something like this. Hey, Brent, I got this great system. My cousin, my brother-in-law, whoever turned me on to, and I went and spent $50,000 and two years of my life practicing and training. And I learned how to use all the software, right? And I put all this time and energy and I'm killing it in paper trading. In other words, when running simulations, when there's no real money on the line, they do great. They make consistent profits. They're making a lot of money. But when they go live, when they click the button to start trading real stocks with real money out of their bank account, they get killed. And it's the craziest thing because every stock market day trader I've worked with has a similar version of this story. When I'm doing paper trading and the money's not real, I'm great at it. I do successful trades. I make money. Then I click the button and start using real money and I do awful. Start chasing pumps or getting into greed or fear, all the different things that take us out, right? What's the difference? The difference is attachment. That's it. It's the same software, right? The only difference is clicking one button on the screen. Trade real money versus simulated, right? It's exactly the same. But when it's simulated, they do great. When it's real, they don't. Why? Attachment. Your brain, your mind gives meaning to the result. You go, oh my gosh, if the stock goes up or down or whatever, I'm going to make all this money or I'm going to lose all this money. And you get emotional. All that judgment, all that emotion takes you out. 
you make bad trades, you stop following your system, and you lose money. And it's unfortunate, there's very few places you can go in the world to overcome that. There's thousands, maybe millions of places that are happy to sell you a book or a program or a seminar or a coaching program to learn to trade. Almost no one has a good system to get past the attachment, the emotion. So that's just a good example. That's attachment and action. It will wipe you out. It will cost you everything. Second great example, we'll go to the world of sports. Let's talk basketball for a second. A free throw, right? And I picked the free throw very specifically because it's one of the few things in sports that is exactly the same in practice or in a game. Because even if you hate basketball, I'm sure you've seen it, right? A free throw you get when you're fouled. You stand 15 feet away from the basket. The basket is 10 feet high. You have 30 seconds to shoot the ball. If it goes in, you get a point. That's all there is to it, right? Here's the point. When shooting free throws, if we look at the NBA, the highest basketball league, at least in the United States, National Basketball Association, right? Lakers, Celtics, all those teams you've heard of. The average free throw shooting percentage for players in the games of the league, right? Real life games is about 70%. So these are trained professionals, grown men that have spent years, decades of their life developing this skill. They only shoot about 70% in a game situation. But if you ever watch those same players in practice, they all shoot 80, 90, 95% in practice. It's really amazing. And here's the point. It's the exact same shot, right? It's exactly the same. Whether you're in practice with your team, in a gym or out on the playground or playing in the NBA Finals in front of 40 million people on TV. It's exactly the same shot. And I had the privilege once to watch the Lakers practice. It was amazing. When they were shooting free throws, it felt like they never missed. So the same players that shoot 70% in a game shoot 95% in practice. What's the difference? Well, the ball isn't different, right? The hoop isn't different. The distance isn't different. It's the same. The only difference is up here. It's in the mind. It's attachment. So whatever your goal is in life, to make more money, to heal your body, to find love, to find purpose, to raise your consciousness, to achieve enlightenment, we got to be able to look at the attachment. We need a way past it. How do we solve this? Well, I'm going to offer some solutions here. One of the ways we're going to address this is I'm going to borrow one of the mottos of the British Special Forces. What they like to say is, train hard, fight easy. Great and full of wisdom, right? So you want to practice under difficult conditions. So that way, when you're in the game, so to speak, it feels easier. What does that mean? Well, whether it's your business, your career, your marriage, your physical health, you want to push yourself in the simulations and the practice as hard as you can to make it easier. That way, when the real game comes, it's easier. Sorry for all the sports metaphors, they just fit so well, right? Here's just one more, then I promise no more sports metaphors today. If you look at baseball players, when they're on deck, meaning they're the next hitter up, they're standing on the side of the field, swinging the bat. Many of them put a weight on the bat, called a donut. Why do they do that? Well by making the bat heavier when they're practicing, when they go up to the plate to hit for real, the bat feels lighter. And it's all psychological, right? But attachment is all psychological too. That's what I want you to see. This is entirely in the mind, entirely psychological, and we can overcome it. Next thing you need to know, super, super critical key to overcoming attachment is understanding the nature of the subconscious. In other words, Know that every aspect of your life is created out of what's inside of you. You are the captain of your ship. You are the source of everything in your life. You are not a victim. And this is critically important. In one of my other series, I talk about the subconscious financial thermostat. And if you're interested, check below in the description. I got a link to it for you. I'm not going to describe the whole thing here because it's in the other video. So here's the essence of it. Over time, you will make about the same amount of money no matter what you do. Why is that? The amount of money you make 
is not based on your job or your education or how smart you are or where you live or who you know. It's really not. It's based on what's inside of you, your energy, your subconscious beliefs, your programs. That's what creates your income, your net worth, your prosperity. And this is really important for overcoming attachment for this reason. When you get attached to one particular opportunity or circumstance, oh my gosh, I have to get this job, right? Oh my gosh, this stock has to go up. Oh my gosh, this person has to fall in love with me. Whatever it is, that's what wipes you out. That's what takes you down. And this is so important to realize that any one opportunity or circumstance has zero long-term impact on your life. Now, there's a short-term impact, right? Yes. But with the subconscious financial thermostat, for example, you're going to end up making about the same amount of money over a five-year period, no matter what. And what will happen is, if you manage to get more money than your subconscious is set for, the universe will take it from you. The universe has many methods to do that, right? Investment losses, theft, divorce, injury, accident, natural disasters. I could go on and on, right? There's an uncountable number of different ways the universe can take money from you. On the flip side, if you're making less money than you're programmed for, it will show up. You'll end up making more money. Why? That's how it works. This is a law of the universe. And this is so important to get you past attachment. Because if you think that getting this job or promotion, or this stock or this crypto, or whatever, this government benefit, whatever it is, if you think that's the source of your money, you're in trouble. Why? You'll get attached. You'll think, oh my gosh, I have to get this job. I have to get this bonus. I have to buy this house. I have to sell this stock at a certain price or I'm screwed, right? That's what's shutting you down. So if you haven't done so yet, definitely check out my video on the subconscious financial thermostat. And I got a lot more material, especially in my Unleash Your Inner Millionaire program and my Formula for Wealth to help you identify and raise the setting. For now, just know, any given opportunity, circumstance, thing that happens has no long-term impact on you because you are creating your life. So don't worry about it so much, right? If you make a lot of money from this stock over here, you just won't make it on that stock over there. Or the universe will take it from you, right? It really does not matter. And when you can understand and embody the truth of this thermostat, that it's really all about your subconscious, you will be less attached. Because you'll know, hey, if I don't get this job, I'll get another one, right? Hey, if this stock doesn't go up, another one will. This is so important. So learn about the thermostat, learn how your subconscious governs your life. And instead of focusing on manipulating, oh, tell me the right stock to buy, tell me what house to buy, tell me what job to take, that's what we want, right? Don't worry about that so much. Focus on yourself on the inside. Clear your blocks, raise the setting. So that's really key to getting past attachment is understanding the truth of how your life works and how it's really coming out of the subconscious. That will not only take away the stress of the attachment, it will also give you a tool to make meaningful, significant changes, right? So number two, what's the second way we can get past attachment? Well, through the process of awakening. And so much to say here, right? But the awakening process is key because we can do metaphysics, right? Clearing blocks, learning about the thermostat, and that's useful. But that can only take us so far. Why? You're always going to be attached in your own life, won't you? Of course you will, right? There's an old saying in the law that a lawyer who represents himself has a fool for a client. Why is that? It's simple. Attachment, right? If you are there in court arguing your own case, if it's your money on the line, your freedom on the line, you're going to screw it up because you're giving it meaning, right? You become attached. Awakening is the only thing that will penetrate to the core of the attachment. However, understand that it is a process and it takes time. It's not something that can happen in an hour, a day, or a week, right? It's like learning a language. If you want to learn to speak Japanese, you could do it. But you're not going to be fluent in two or three days, right? It's going to be a process. Learn, practice, adjust, learn, practice, adjust. And at some point, you will be able to speak Japanese. So awakening, understanding you is so critical. Short version, what you thought is you is not you. It's that simple. You are not what you think you are, unless you've gone through awakening, right? And I teach a process for it. I have a great downloadable program called 30 Days to Awakening to lead you through it. 
If you like my stuff, you might want to check it out. We'll throw a link down in the description for you. Or find your own way, right? Other teachers doing great material on this too. You need to understand what this U is. Because for example, if you were, for example, trading stocks and you realized it wasn't really your stocks or your money, that would make it easy, right? That's why I said paper traders for simulated trading is easy for people because they're not attached. Awakening will penetrate to the core of attachment. And if you don't, there's only so far you can go. Because after all, attachment shows up so powerfully in our lives, right? As an example, many people have experienced that it's a lot easier to get a job when you have one. Why? If you don't have a job, you're really attached to getting a job. Of course you are, right? You're like, oh my God, I don't have any income, right? I'm draining my bank account. My credit card balances are going up. This sucks, right? So you think, oh gosh, I have to get this job. I have to get some money, right? That's what's shutting you down. That's what's taking you out. It works the same with dating. If you are with someone or you're very happy being single, that's very attractive. You'll probably get a lot of flirts. You'll have opportunities to meet people. People will be attracted to you. And it doesn't matter if you're a man, a woman, gay, straight, or something else, old or young, it's all the same. Why? When you're single and lonely, you're attached to it, right? You really want to be with someone. You really want to feel loved. And that pushes it away. It makes it unattractive. And we're not interested, right? I call this Newton's fourth law. It's the one I learned at MIT that Newton would have discovered, except he spent his whole life in studying philosophy and religion and physics and never had a date in his life. Newton's fourth law is this. You can only find a girlfriend, boyfriend when you're not looking for one, right? So that again, this is simple attachment to result. And if you're able to understand the thermostat, the source of your prosperity, you'll get less attached to money and then you'll make more. If you're able to awaken to the truth of you and see that it's all a simulation, we're all one, we're all connected. There's nobody here. There is only the divine mind putting a process into motion. It gets easier right? That's the difference between 70% free throws and 95%. That's the difference between making money and losing money. And when you're able to penetrate this attachment, manifesting gets really easy. I remember back when I was single, before I got married to my first wife, we were looking for a condo to buy. And this was before my elbow was frozen, right? Before I experienced the miracle with Terry, before I studied energy healing, became a healer. This is before all of that, years before. And I remember we had gone around and looked at some condos in a neighborhood we liked, and we had actually put in a bid on a unit. And we had gone over to look at it with our real estate agent, and we put in a bid. We said, hey, you know, put in this bid. As we were driving home, I was there with my, at the time, fiance. We stopped at a stop sign, and we both saw this condo building there in West LA. And I looked at it and I said, hey, that's kind of a cool place. It'd be neat to live there. And she was like, yeah, I like it too. And we forgot about it, right? Why? Nothing was on the market in that building, right? And we had just put an offer on another unit and a different building in the same neighborhood. Here's the key. There was no attachment. We weren't attached to getting the building because nothing was for sale, right? And we had put a bid on another building. Well, here's what happened. The next day, my real estate agent calls me and says, hey Brent, I got good news and bad news. The bad news is the unit you bid on, you didn't get it. Someone else bid, bid more. I was like, okay, that sucks. But he goes, here's the good news. There's a unit and another building in the same neighborhood I think you'll like even more, and it's cheaper. And I was like, great. And he goes, this thing is priced to sell. Is there any chance you can come over today to see it? I wanna get an offer in tonight. And I did. I went, got my fiance, we looked at the, the unit and we loved it. And guess what? It was in that building where I had said, wow, that's a cool building. I'd like to live there, right? So we put in a bid and the next day, this gets even better. My real estate agent calls me and he says, hey Brent, I got good news and bad news. The bad news is someone outbids you. The good news is I know the seller's agent. We went to high school together and he told me that if you're willing to increase your bid by a couple thousand dollars, it's yours. And I said, absolutely. And that was the first property I bought. 
and I lived there for over 20 years. So the moral of the story is I manifested it almost effortlessly because I had no attachment. Even before I knew anything about the subconscious, law of attraction, any of that, right? I just looked at it and said, hey, that's a cool place. I'd like to live there. That's all it took. I manifested buying it, even though we got outbid. Why? No attachment. So this is how we do it. So if you're enjoying this, make sure you take a moment right now, go click like, hit it three or four times, make sure you like it a lot, right? Click subscribe. Please take a moment, maybe send this to your friends. They need to know about this too, right? Much appreciated. If you haven't done so yet, check out the links to my website below. Check it out, get on my mailing list. I'll give you some free trainings. You can join a free live event. Join me for my free Wealth Club block clearing event. Come to one of my Healathon live webinars. There's a lot of great free trainings. Check it out. Would love to take you deeper into it. So awesome. Thank you for checking that out, for liking, subscribing, checking out my website. Last thing I want to say is we need to surrender. This is really the ultimate place how we get past attachment. We need to know that everything in life is happening for us, not to us, and that all of us are loved by the divine. And we have to be willing to surrender and trust the flow of life. If you don't, you're attached, right? Your ego will shut it down. One of the things my mentor liked to say was, the height of your love is determined by how willing you are to let your heart break. Really powerful stuff. What does that mean? If you're willing to surrender to whatever life has coming, you're going to do great. If you're willing to suffer loss and failure and setbacks and you trust the divine will carry you through it, you will do great. You will achieve new heights of love. Another one of his sayings was this, if you woke up with amnesia tomorrow, you'd be fine. Why? All your attachment would be gone. You'd have no memory. You would just like wake up tomorrow and go, oh, this is who I am. This is my job. This is my family. This is where I live. This is my car. And you go, okay, this is who I am. This is where I'm at in life. Let's decide where we want to be and go take action to get there. If you could do that, you'd do great. Why? No attachment. You, you wouldn't be judging where you're at. You'd just be, okay, this is where I'm at, right? You would become what I call the three-legged dog. That's the goal, right? Uh, you ever seen a three-legged dog? If you have, you know they run and jump and play. They're just as happy as any other dog. They don't even notice or care they're missing a leg, right? That's what happens when we're unattached. We're happier. We're more powerful. The actions we take have bigger effects in life. And I'll just warn you, there's not much out there in the law of attraction, self-improvement, energy healing world that works to get you past attachment. Very little. There's a lot of other places you can learn to work with the subconscious. Very few for attachment. And awakening is key. Because without awakening, surrender is just a good idea. As we used to say about gravity at MIT, they used to say, gravity, it's not just a good idea, it's the law. Right? Kind of funny. Just so you know, it's the same here. Surrendering to the divine plan is not just a good idea, it's the law. And the awakening will show you why it makes sense. It's not just a hope, right? It's not just a blind hope, oh please, I hope things get better. It's a total knowingness, a confidence in yourself, the divine, the flow of life that will bring you to much better places than you probably even could have imagined. Don't take my word for it. See for yourself. Do the work. Try the process. I think you'll be amazed by the results. If you'd like to get in touch with me, join one of our events, again, just hop onto my website. You should see the links below, awakeningdynamics.com. And however you choose to do it, get past your attachment. The results will be amazing and it'll pay for itself a thousand, a hundred thousand, a million times over. That's all I got to say for right now. Brett Michael Phillips signing off and I'll see you soon for video three in our series and hopefully at my website at one of my live events. Until then, take care and namaste.